Hello everyone. I thought I'd show you my latest uh, extravaganza contraption whatever here. But first I'm going to recap on my uh, DIY incubator. I have a previous couple videos on this incubator. Um, this, if you watched my other videos, you recall I have humidity and temperature control on this incubator. And uh, I think I showed it in this iteration, I showed it um, with no eggs in it. Uh, but it's loaded with eggs now. And I've had them in there for, oh, it's uh, three days short of 28 days. Um, the top layer of eggs in this incubator uh, is due to hatch this coming Sunday. This is Thursday. And uh, Sunday they'll, they'll be hatching. See, it's holding about 38 degrees. I'm getting ready to candle the eggs and move them into this, which is my hatcher. I just threw this together over the last couple of days. This is this is uh, so that I can keep the incubator running nonstop uh, and do uh, multiple multiple hatches just by moving the eggs to the hatcher when they're ready to hatch uh, the three days before. Um, I'm going to open this up so you can see inside, see the eggs, see what I've got in the incubator. That's what we've got going. If you recall, this right here is the uh, vapor generator. A little pond fogger in there that generates the uh, mist that is then added to the air. See, it just came on. And that uh, that adds vapor to the uh, heated air. I have a light bulb for the heat source. It's a 100 watt bulb. Uh, assorted fans and so forth. Uh, a little Tupperware container. Well, actually it's Rubbermaid because you can't buy Tupperware in the grocery store. Uh, Rubbermaid container. A uh, piece of 2 inch pipe um, to generate the, the mist. But you see all my turkey eggs in there. These are uh, bourbon reds and bourbon red and bronze crosses. And we'll see how those work out. Like I say, I'm getting ready to move them into my hatcher. I'm going to close the door on this so they can get back to their business before I move them. The water reservoir for my hatcher is leaking right now, so I have it in there uh, healing with some silicone. But this is the hatcher. Same concept, uh, same idea of a uh, a humidity and temperature engine. Um, this one I built from some shipping boxes. Uh, a friend of mine is a falconer and he gets uh, frozen quail to feed his falcons. So they ship them in this, these uh, insulated boxes. But you see I have a little bit different configuration on the, the mister, the humidifier, uh, but pretty much the same. It just laid out a little differently. But you can really see the fog pouring off of there. Uh, and you see it's running about about 70% I think is what I have set for. I'll raise that up a little bit. Um, 36 or 37C. I might uh, lower that a little bit. I have little puppy uh, training pads in the bottom to absorb any mess and to keep it clean. Uh, a little screen for traction. So I'm going to shut it off for now and uh, I'll let it later when I get the eggs in there. Thanks for watching. Well, I'm back and I've uh, candled the eggs, uh, turned the incubator back on, and I'll show you. I moved the uh, moved the bottom eggs to the top, so that's all I have in there now. That's all that's left. Um, there are five turkey eggs and one duck egg, and they're all alive. I just candled them, like I said. They're alive. They they have to go another ten days or so. They'll be having a following Sunday, Sunday after this coming Sunday which is the 40 eggs in this hatcher that I just built. Uh, now, let's see. This is how many eggs I ended up with. These eggs, I think, are nearly all alive. There are a couple I couldn't tell for sure, but I'm pretty sure that uh, they're mostly alive. So now we just got to wait until they hatch. Um, give you another view in here. This has turned out pretty neat to use these two boxes side by side and re-glue them and uh, 
manufacture this little gizmo again, just like my uh, incubator. The fan setup is a little bit different. It still works the same. It's holding pretty well. But uh, I'll do an update when they start hatching. Uh, look for that video. Uh, until then, uh, signing off. See you next time. Thanks for looking. Belong to myself.